Hello, this is Mary Lynn Van Sweeten. Today, I'm going to show you how to add a user-defined field to a table in a panel in Sage 100. On screen, I have vendor maintenance open. I'm on the first tab, and I have some empty space in the bottom right corner. I'm going to add a new field here that's going to be 25 characters so I can have additional data entry points for all of my vendors. Let's exit out of vendor maintenance and go to custom office. We're going to go to the main menu and user defined field and table maintenance. We want to look for the AP vendor master. And I double clicked it and now I'm going to click on edit fields. By clicking on this green little plus mark here, I'm going to add a new field. I'm just going to call it new field. I can give it any description I want and then I choose whether or not this is going to be manual entry or if I'm going to retrieve the data from another source, that being a business object. This is going to be manual entry. Here's where I define the type of field it's going to be. We're going to choose multi-line. It's going to be a string, and I want this to be 25 characters long. You can see I have other display attributes, and I'm going to leave all of those unchecked. So let's click OK, and then OK again, and a third OK, and now it is going to update the data dictionary within Sage. This is going to take a few moments, so let's just be a little patient. I'm going to close out of here because I'm done with this task, and what I need to do next is to uh, add it to the panel. I'm clicking on my customizer selection. I'm coming into accounts payable and I'm finding vendor maintenance. If I start out with the D main, it's going to bring me to the full panel. I'm just going to do this for my user and this one company that I'm in. And when I click in the white panel area and right click, I can now choose which folder I want to work with. So I'm going to choose number one, and I'm going to go to that panel. You can see I have some empty space here. To grab the field, I'm going to click on Add Field. I'm going to come and draw that field. And once I let go, it's going to show me all the user-defined fields that are associated with the AP Vendor uh, table. If I click on Show All, it will actually show me all of the fields that are associated with the uh, vendor maintenance. I'm going to select the new field, click Select, and here we go. You can see that my description is up over here, so I'm going to move it around a little bit. And here we go. Here we have New Field. Now let's save our panel. Let's go to Accounts Payable and Vendor Maintenance. And now we could see new field where I can now start adding new information. By clicking in over here, coming up to my next vendor, um, here's more information. And what you'll notice is that when you go into your advanced lookup engine, and if I go to custom, I'm just going to uh, give it my own name and make it my default. And if I go to the bottom of the list, you can see that I have new field and I can actually add this to my lookup engine. There we go. There's the data we just entered. I hope this helps you get more out of Sage 100. Try it on your own. See if you like it. Thanks for watching.